everybody and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 and today we are continuing on our Skaven campaign here with uh, Clan Scryer, Ikit Claw uh, leading his verminous host to glory. Um, last time when we started off here we easily took over uh, all of Astalia uh, wiping out those humans and we are now making our move on to Talea here on to Margiliano and then hopefully down to Lucini, and I guess we'll probably have to go to war here with the Vampire Coast before they get too, too powerful, though taking Sartosa is going to be a ball ache and a half, because Jesus Christ, look at that garrison. Depth Guard are no joke. Um, yeah, and along with most of their stuff. But uh, the armies themselves shouldn't be too bad, but, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. We also have to worry about the dwarves, the elves, and the Bretonians at some point. Though, for now, we're actually staying neutral with that side, so that's good. Um, though the dwarves definitely hate us. <laughs> they hate us a lot. So, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, we'll, again, just kind of have to see. Um, we have a an ambush uh, set up here. We're going to see if we can get uh, Talaya to walk out, because I can't take uh, the garrison and these armies at the same time. So, I'm going to have to wait for them to come out and strike them individually. So, the hope here is that... Uh, they walk out, try to move on Skaven Blight or even towards tomorrow, and then we can move in an Alpha Strike. Um, alpha Strike them. If they do go for tomorrow, we are within Underway Stance, and they they shouldn't be able to reach right off the bat. I'm not sure. Again, we'll see. So hopefully we can just uh, you know, catch them out right here and uh, wipe out their armies. Um, other than that. You know, it, it's just we kind of have to build up. We got to build up our economy a little bit. Uh, once once you start off, you don't have the food supplies to necessarily take over everything. And oh, it's a it's a perfect <laughs> it's it's a perfect situation. Uh, they marched out here, and we did catch them uh, directly into an ambush. So, man, it's just full of crossbow spams. Well, unfortunately, crossbow is not going to be able to save them when they get pincered in ambush. We're going to go ahead and move in and take out Leonardo uh, Catraza of Talea. All right, and bam, here we are. Oh, uh, and the, these Taleans about to be stuck in a very, very bad position here. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is pincer them from both sides here. So we're going to probably have our Skaven slaves along here and then our clan rats along here. And then we also have so we got uh, some night runners with slings, uh, just recruited before we went on the attack here. So I'll probably have them like around here to shoot in. Maybe get rid of those pistoliers as quickly as possible. Uh, but then we want you guys up on this hill because you kind of have a a better angle of attack. Some of your shots are going to get blocked by the trees, but I mean they're gonna, it's going to be the same over there. At least this way you have the hill advantage. Again, we're just trying to try to shoot in there overwhelm them as much as possible have our heroes lead the charge and these spells are going to be very uh, very powerful because uh, they're going to be blobbing up so much and then our our doom flayers here again yeah just try to wipe out these crossbowmen uh, you know swordsmen and, and spearmen you know they're, they're not too much of a threat to, me, to us because their damage potential is just very very low You know, they're only going to be able to do uh, so much, and they have to get stuck into melee. So the crossbowmen very much are the primary target here. So let's go ahead and fire into there. Uh, Doom players try to catch any of these guys that are trying to run away. And night runners, yeah, just kind of fire in, fire into that blob over there. Oh, perfect. And already the blobs forming, put down a, a brass orb. And just getting surrounded like this really, you know, puts you in a bad position. Like, there's much you can really do. Uh, let's put down a Wolf Lightning over there. Uh, Doom Flayer's doing a good job. Okay, let's have you guys switch targets. Uh, you guys finish off those Pistoliers. Oh, perfect. And we are just kind of munching through them here. They're getting completely overwhelmed. Which is what you like to see. A couple of these crossmen getting away from us. But that's okay. Uh, you know, they're not going to be able to do too much more. 
Uh, Skaven, Night Runners with Slings doing great, a great job too, just putting in that constant fire. Let's see if we can't have them fire into the backs of those swordsmen there. Uh, get Ikit Claw going. We did put him on a Doom Flare. So that's going to mean he's going to be able to do some really good stuff uh, in melee. Just be able to blend through infantry. Uh, because that's what Doom Flares are really good at. And they're actually really good at, at doing that. Surprisingly so. Uh, Doom Flares are really fucking strong. If you couldn't tell by our one unit that we got at the start that's just been, you know, carrying battles for us. Uh, no, more more take up uh, a little bit of a better position. You can't fire into the back of them. Kind of try to just help break the flanks a little bit better. Oh, yeah, and just the the warp stone uh, batteries firing in here for more black gazelles and the rattling gunners. Just too much for these crosswomen to handle. In fact, we can get some shots coming in over here. Oh, these, these swords are about to have a real bad day. Oh, so good. Honestly, Warp Lightning is just such a good spell. It's so cost-effective for the amount of damage that it does. Alright, we can have you guys uh, switch targets here. Yeah, and basically all these guys just screwed. Uh, yeah, most of these guys should have been run off the map. Alright, and beautiful. Uh, not much left remaining for the, uh, for the Talaeans here. Uh, their lord over here is gonna be a bit of a problem. Can we get our Wolflock Engineer on top of him? And yeah, you guys just keep on firing off at those stragglers. Damn it, a couple of those guys, but it won't be long until Army Losses kicks in. Uh, their army is just completely shattered at this point. All right, I think, uh, yeah, I think we just hit that uh, that limit. And there we go, bam! The Talaeans, uh, completely overwhelmed, uh, using Skaven tactics at their finest to just overwhelm and then blast them apart with magic and uh, and ranged firepower. It's a beautiful thing, honestly. See these rattling guns just, yeah, obliterate them. When when rattling guns are in close range, they deal so much damage. It's insane. Uh, one of the highest DPS units actually in the whole trilogy. But there we go. A uh, good victory for us, and the Talaeans have been defeated. All right, and bam, there we go. The Talaean forces uh, completely overwhelmed here, and that's going to be uh, this is gonna be real good for us. And what do we want here? I guess we can build up some more food. Oh, we're already at full capacity, so you know, just eat the captives. Get a little bit of extra replenishment there. All right, and now... They're coming at us here with the settlement garrison, and this time they're actually coming out of the city. So, um, I actually do think that this is gonna be worth fighting. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a couple summons of menace below. We'll get three of them uh, just to help us out here. But I, I do actually think we can go ahead and win here because uh, it's just gonna be the the garrison. Uh, this lord is basically dead. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and move in and hopefully take these guys out and make our conquest of Margiliano uh, that much easier. All right, and bam, here we are, back in the fields, and uh, going to be, be, be a pretty important battle here for us to win. So those reinforcements are going to be basically the army. So we're going to want to make sure we can, like, close in that distance as quickly as possible. I even push up our night runners to be a little bit of a skirmish force here. All right, beautiful. We have our Skaven slaves, of course, in the front. You know, they, they can take the volleys and the, the heavy fire from... The enemy and then our and the rest of our clan rats can can move in uh the melee grind is probably going to go the way of the empire here the uh swordsmen and, and spearmen are just better than than most of these skaven infantry skaven infantry is not very good but again we have our our massive amount of ranged firepower here and we have these doom flares especially which is super good and we have a buttload of magic and hopefully that with some menace blows means we're going to be able to come out on top here yeah, we're just going to want to kind of just close in as quickly as possible have our night runners go up and do a little bit of skirmish uh for us oh wow and their lord is just coming straight at us well i mean if he wants to do that okay we'll just go ahead and kill him right off the bat a couple fire uh, volleys from our Gisales. 
And then Naked Claw moving in to finish him off. It should be uh, pretty easy. Yeah, go ahead and move out of the way so that those Gisales can fire in. And yeah, he's he's basically dead. Get you guys moving up again. Turn you guys off fire at will so you guys can stay hidden here as you move up. And I'm going to want to try to focus down those great swords um, as much as possible. I have you guys move up like so, and perfect. Their lord's dead already, right off the bat. Beautiful. And we're in the tree line, so we're a little bit protected from their fire. And just get a couple of volleys off on these great swords. Not going to do a massive amount of damage, but enough. And we'll turn back on fire at will, so you guys can kind of fire as you retreat. Uh, probably bring our Doom Flayers around again. We want them to kind of get in and mess up and stick up the Empire's gunnery lines. Alright, and the Gisales can already start firing. Let's have them move up a little bit. Uh, the, uh, the Great Swords are going to be in the forest, so they're going to be a little bit protected. So probably just have you guys start firing at those hand gunners. Alright, you guys can kind of push off over there. We're going to call down a Menace Below to go stick up those... Um, those mortars. Ready. Yes, yes. You know, just tie them down. Uh, mortar crews are not great combatants, as you probably know. <laughs> Artillery crew not usually known for their great uh, melee combat uh, potential, but... Uh, they might still be able to, to ward off a, a couple summons, so we're gonna try to be careful with them. Oh, whoops, nope. Uh, you guys keep on firing at them. Alright, you guys can kind of fire over their heads over here. Alright, beautiful. Uh, yep. Yeah, I lost micro on my guys for a second. That's okay. Oh yeah, they had some some help from their spearmen to come and get them. Oh yeah, you guys keep on running back here. Alright, perfect. And this way we can kind of get into their back lines. These Zales doing great work. You have to watch out here. We can probably put down a brass orb over, over here. You guys just keep on retreating backwards. Those great swords are already almost dead, and they've basically done nothing. Yeah, just get up, stick up those mortars. All right, you guys fire into those swordsmen, wipe them out. All right, let's pop down a wolf lightning over here. Probably get down another one, even. Beautiful. All right. Uh, is that mortar crew still on? They might be. It's hard to tell, honestly. These guys might route off. That's okay, though. They've they've done enough distraction, uh, enough to, to help us out here. Oh, perfect. And the main line is already breaking apart. fire into the back of those swords and yep and there we go they're routed try to bring those those great swords into an angle where we can easily shoot at them oh yeah and yep those crossmen just absolutely getting melted right, you can go ahead and get into combat over here probably put down a uh a, a death frenzy just make our units even more deadly go ahead and cut through them Alright, perfect. Alright, Link Gunners probably move in over here. Move up our Gisales a little bit. Yeah, and those great swords already seen off. And yeah, the big great swords basically didn't do anything. They might have gotten 60 kills on what our, our skirmish troops. <laughs> our night runners uh, did their job perfectly. Those great swords couldn't make an impact on the main line, which is where they were needed. And yeah, we're just going to easily chomp through all these guys. Perfect. Alright, we're gonna put down another. Brass orb here on top of these crossbowmen. 
right on top of him here. Yeah, go ahead. Fire those summons. Alright, beautiful. Uh, just gonna keep on moving. Uh, it Claw here. Bounce him from target to target. Alright, we need to start moving up all these boys over here. Yeah, and these, these uh, spearmen trying to make an approach, but just getting picked off by the Gisales. All right, perfect. Now someone's actually able to see off the the last of the that mortar crew. I right, just go ahead, finish finish them off. Night runners, you can even just like close into melee. Night runners aren't terrible in melee, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, 18 melee defense is pretty bad. <laughs> oh, but they have they have okay melee attack and uh, 23 open strength. They do have a uh, little bonus for infantry. Yeah, they're not great, but. They're better than slaves, at least. Uh, we really want some gutter runners as soon as we can get those guys going, because uh, they will do they will do a lot of damage uh, and be able to close into melee and assassinate infantry as well with uh, having pretty good skirmish abilities. Uh, but yes, yeah, battle is pretty much over now. I'm just getting you guys in here. Yeah, army loss is starting to kick in. The courage of men is faltering. And beautiful. Victory is ours. I'm going to put down another Brass Orb. We kind of want to just finish off as much of these guys as possible. Uh, that Again, that way so that they don't uh, come back into siege. Uh, which shouldn't be too hard. We're going to go ahead and just fast forward here. Hey, oh, that was a perfect, uh, that was a perfect warp lightning right there. But yeah, there we go. Uh, now most of them are being routed off. And yeah, that's a pretty good victory for Skavendom. All right, and beautiful. The Talaian force is absolutely crushed there. Uh, I completely got rid of one of those mortars, which is good. And yeah, those forces just uh, not feeling too, too hot. I'll go ahead and we'll, we'll go ahead and eat captives. We'll punish, get a little bit of a punishment going. And then, yeah, we'll instantly go ahead and besiege them. And we should be able to... Oh, dude, Averland's dead? Uh, we should be able to take that without too much uh, hassle. Uh, but Ikit Claw has leveled up here. Now let's see, where are we going to want to get him? Oh, literally anything can be good, so... I could just get Muscafir. Uh, that means whenever he's casting... Um, Enemies around him are gonna be uh, worse at attacking, which is pretty good. No threat of a challenge. Okay, and you know what? Yeah, we can go ahead and get you a Doom Rocket and a Ballistics Instructor, which is pretty good. Oh, dude, allies uh, plus ten percent range for everything map wide is pretty good. That that's a constant effect. So, yeah, holy shit! All right, so we're gonna go ahead and build up our siege equipment. Let that build up here. And I just want to besiege him just so that the garrison doesn't have a chance to replenish. You can already see that they've done a little bit of replenishing, so we definitely want to stop that as much as possible. And honestly, the ideal situation is that they come back out and attack us again. And then we'll be able to pretty much wipe them out. Because even just here in besieging stance, we're already replenishing pretty good. That, that tech we just got was really good. Our replenishment rate is insane. Okay. Um, but what are we going to want next? Yo, that that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and get Forced March down, because we're already pretty good on food. So we can afford that without too much difficulty. And go ahead and upgrade Babily to a, a, to a Warren so that it can get the upgraded harbor, and we can improve our income a little bit as well. No prey, no pay. Alright, perfect. 
All right, so now we're now we're looking to be in a pretty good position. Uh, as soon as Margiliano comes under control, we can get those pastures there, and then food will be pretty much a non-issue. We'll see if they do decide to want to fight us out in the field or not. Either way, I think we uh, we win here. All right, they are going to want to go ahead and uh, fight us in the field, and uh, we shall we shall let them. All right, and bam! There we go. So I just went ahead and fought that real quick because it's pretty much the same as the last two battles we fought. And yeah, we were able to wipe them out without too much difficulty. Yeah, I lost a Skaven Slave unit, but I mean, oh no. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, boohoo. It doesn't really matter at all. Oh, uh, we'll go ahead and slave these guys. Why not? Like the, the tiny bit of extra punishment probably won't won't matter all that much. Uh, now Margiliano is looking to be real in a really perilous position because now uh, most of their garrison just died out in that battle. So, I mean, kind of get wrecked. <laughs> uh, oh, there's also like this special line that SFO adds to um, Skaven Lords, which is pretty good. But I think we'll just keep on going down his uh, his tech line, maybe. Aspiring presence is also good. I like. I usually like to fill out all the basic ones, but I mean, definitely this stuff as well. Uh, it could cause a lot of stuff we're going to want to get him, so. Uh, he's just one of those lords that's going to be very spread uh, spread thin in terms of his skill points. Uh, but hey, you know, nonetheless, Margiliano should be ours. Yeah, no, no casualties it looks like. And perfect. On death targets. Uh, we can go ahead and occupy it at settlement level 4. But holy shit, it, uh... I don't know if we want to drop that low. We'll go ahead and just occupy it at settlement level 3 here. Don't quite have enough, uh, of storage to make our fuel really worth it. And hey, bam, we got enough to uh, expand Storm Demon, our uh, quest line for his legendary weapon. Hell yeah. Uh, we need to kill 2,000 enemies in battle. Uh, that, that shouldn't take too long. Especially if we do go to war with the vampire counts here. Alright, definitely want pasture sites. This extra food generation is really, really good. Uh, definitely gonna want, uh, you to increase our income here. Uh, you for public order. And then probably some, uh, special thing here. Plague Clock Catapults would be good to get. But also Plague Monks as well. We definitely want a Plague Priest. Uh, because they can have summons, which is really good. Rat ogres are okay as well, but... I feel like uh, just next door at Skaven Blight, we'll have all our tech stuff. So you know what? Yeah, you can go ahead and get a Pox Cauldron. Yeah, alright. Yeah, that looks good. Seems seems good enough for now, at least. And, of course, another skill point for our, for our lord here. Go ahead and get him Power Overload. And we'll go ahead and finish off We'll do this tree for now. Alright, perfect. Needs to prove his worth. Um, and you? I mean, might as well give you a little bit more. I mean, I don't I don't remember Scorch being too good. It certainly is awful in vanilla. I don't remember if it got it really all that much better in uh, SFO. So, I mean, I guess we'll see. It might be worth... Uh, Replacing all of our Skaven Slave Spears with just clan rats at this point, honestly. Uh, I mean, yeah, the Skaven Slaves have less upkeep, but it's not like clan rats have all that much more upkeep in comparison. It roughly doubles it. So, you know, and they're just like a lot better. Yeah, if you look at their stats, it's just, it's a, it's a significant improvement. So, I mean, yeah, I think it's probably time to replace our Skaven Slaves here. So, we can get rid of three more here. Alright, so, you guys are growing. Good, and our food stores are slowly being replenished here. Next turn, Margiliano will be, uh, we'll start to have some of its buildings constructed. So, that'll be good for us as well. And we really just want to heal up right now. Sartos is raiding us. It is what it is. I don't really, it doesn't matter too much. They're just going to goad us into attacking them, which we definitely will. Um, I want that territory. I want to finish off this uh, this province. And then taking Sartosa for ourselves will be good as well. The wine doesn't matter as much. Uh, mainly just, uh, just having that, that position in general. Having it secured and not having Vampire Coast right on our asses. 
uh, will be nice. At least for, for a little while. Because uh, Mr. Mr. Count Noculus over here in the Galleon's Graveyard does like to come over here and try to take Estalia quite often uh, when he gets kicked out of Ulf 1 because, you know, it's the elves and they're bullshit. <laughs> you know? So we're probably going to have to deal with him at some point. I just hope it's 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 later rather than sooner so we have enough time to kind of build up. Alright, but yeah, Margiliano going to be a really great, spate, uh, great place for us. Because, I mean, already off the bat, we can start doing some real good here. And having that extra food. Actually, it's actually huge. But let's see. we got, like, two more turns of healing. Just wait up here. And, again, the clo the, the faster we can kind of climb the uh, the ranks of, of our, our settlement tiers, the quicker we can get to our more powerful items. I mean, you can see you see the destruction we can do with just one rattling gun and one warplock Gisele unit. I mean, imagine having four of those guys in your armies. It's it's going to be huge. Oh, hell yeah. Definitely. Extra food generated faction wide. Storm I mean, hell yeah. It's a follower, so we can just go ahead and put it in there. <laughs> 